For 519 collegiate anglers on spring break, it doesn't get any better than this. Paris, Tennessee, on the shores of Kentucky Lake. This is the seventh annual Cabela's Collegiate Big Bass Bash presented by Berkeley. I think it's gonna be a really fun tournament because with the multiple sessions, all the prizes, and it's just kind of laid back, having a good time, pretty much. In a regular, just five fish all day tournament, you're just grinding all day, trying to get five bites, you know. But this one, it's like, well, if you don't, you, you have eight chances to win. Oh, it's a blast. It definitely gives us an opportunity to get out and just get back to the kind of roots of why we all enjoy the sport. We get to go out, and you're not necessarily patterning fish and worried about this big competitive tournament as much as you are just kept finding that one big one. And it's exciting because anybody out here can do it. We've got a record field on hand this weekend. There's an unprecedented 84 collegiate campuses represented, and they're all hoping to cash in on the $30,000 total purse. For those in the hunt for Cabela's School of the Year, this event is worth double points. Yeah, they can't change in a blink of an eye, especially with a tournament like this, where double points and all that. I mean, you can see someone shoot up from that was never even really in the top 20. It's just a huge game changer. This is by far the most points available tournament, and I think Basically, catching two fish, five and a half plus, will put us probably in first. Nathan Bell fishes for Dayton, Tennessee's Bryan College. They're in fifth coming into this tournament, 100 points behind the current leaders and 2016 Cabela's Collegiate National Champions, Auburn University. Angler of the Year is one of the most prestigious titles in fishing in general, depending, you know, it don't matter which level you're at. Um, and then team of the year is just basically broadening that to the whole team. Yeah. So th it's extremely important to us. Last year, you know, we talked about it a bunch, but we didn't, uh, we didn't set our sights on it the way we have this year. And that's that's been the biggest goal to everybody on the team, to the officers on the team. When we first met in fall, this past fall, we said we wanted team of the year, and uh, we gonna, we knew we set out a plan, a budget to figure out what we can do to be the to be the most effective throughout the season and. Uh, try to get boats at every single tournament that qualifies for the team of the year. Conditions on Kentucky Lake this week have been favorable, with water and air temps in the 60s and the bass beginning to push shallow. But things are about to change. A big front is due to push through, and due to potential extreme conditions, tournament officials have made the difficult decision to cancel day two of this event. It's gonna change, you know, it's been in, in the 60s here lately, and then it's gonna drop down to 31 in the morning at takeoff, so. Uh, it could just completely shut them off. They may stay where they're at, but I suspect it'll pull them back. They'll try to get away from that cold water and wait for it to warm back up. It's still gonna be a slugfest pre-front. Uh, fish are in every position, deep, shallow, you name it, so it's gonna be an absolute awesome event. Weather reports called for winter conditions to arrive late in the day, but the snow began to fall just before sunrise. When it was done, there was more than four inches blanketing the hills of Henry County. Well, so what are your thoughts? <laughs> I think it's snowing. We didn't know there was going to be a blizzard this morning. It's cool. I mean, it's a great big bass bash. It's, it's, a, it's fun. It's a fun tournament. 